Late Night Health continues uh, coming up in about uh, 10 or 12 minutes or so. Richard Gordon will be joining us talking about energy healing here on Late Night Health. Right now we're talking with Terry Matthews, who's very charming. We're really enjoying her conversation. Even though it's a serious problem, do you take it with a, I, I don't know if grain of salt is the right phrase, Terry, but, you know, humor, faith. Love can get you through this, and we're talking about autism. Absolutely. Um, I think a combination of all. I think the one thing that was so important to me when it came to um, creating this organization, Javen's Voice, was um, there are a lot of organizations out there focused on the children, and I think when we first started, that was my thing. It was like, you know, hey, I want to make sure every kid can connect to all of the right therapies and the services, and because we help globally, and I, um, I know that this might have been talked about before, but we, we also help internationally, right? So we have a, a location in Zambia, which is a portion of Africa we have de- dealt with and had an opportunity to meet with 43 countries, first ladies, about autism. And just because I was so interested to see, and I've seen it in so many different faces all around the world, different parents. So our organization has um, a greater focus on the families. Um, on the the single mom, the married family, the grandparent who might be raising someone, we, you know, we've we've seen it in all walks of life and from every economical um, viewpoint. And I don't care, you know, for folks that have a lot of money and have access to every resource, all the way down to people who have no money and no access to resource. And with, there is a such thing as no access with um, with the autism. A common thing. Yeah, and but with autism. It doesn't matter how much money you have or no. how much money you don't. Doctors don't often know. They don't. And we say autism doesn't discriminate. And the challenge is when you go to a doctor, most people think, oh, I'm going to my doctor. My doctor said nothing's wrong with my child. But is your doctor developmental pediatrician? There is a difference. And I teach that even in universities to doctors because it's important. People, My son's pediatrician saw all three of our kids, and um, she wasn't the one to diagnose them. Wow. Or identify it. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. And 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 heartbreaking at the same time. You also it mentioned is. that that autism is non-discriminatory. Yes. Black, absolutely. white, green, purple, doesn't brown, matter. doesn't matter. Doesn't matter your socioeconomic status, your religion. You don't get autism because you fell or your kid bumped their head. We have a lot of moms that we talk to. Um, that have high levels of guilt because they thought they ate the wrong food, they didn't take enough vitamins, like it's, and you don't understand the the internal self-sabotaging or depression that's led um, by some of these families. And so, you know, even with our organization, we've created community workshops, we empower people. I've taken the business skills that I have um, as an entrepreneur, and um, I have taken those business skills and showed moms who may have had to quit their job to manage their child at home on the spectrum. And it causes a lot of issues within families because it's very difficult. If we used to go out as husband and wife and have dinner, now we have a child who can't really go out. And um, it's very difficult for them to deal with crowds or noises or things like that. Then, you know, what are you going to do? I'm going to send my husband Mark out by himself. He's going to send his wife Terry out by herself. That won't work, right? And so you spend less time together. And even from a sibling situation, which we went through with Jaden, it was like everything's about Jaden um, because we spent a lot of time, effort, and energy to to manage Jaden. But we had to remember that Jaden had siblings. And uh, do the siblings resent it? Do you think? Not Well, initially I got, you know, when Jaden was diagnosed, his siblings, one was, you know, middle school and one was elementary. So it was, their thing was, we're never going to have kids. They didn't understand it. Their <laughs> friends stopped coming around. Um, and they couldn't wait to move far out of the country because they're not going to help with Jaden. So it really broke my heart as a parent. But the more I advocated and I showed them, and they, uh, the more they understood then they became mini advocates. And my daughter, when she was in high school, every from clubs that she created in high school to communicating with her friends or wanting to raise money through her cheerleading team, whatever, it was like, listen, you're going to learn about autism. And when she made it cool, other kids raised their hand like, oh, that goes on in my household too. 
And she was like, I never even knew that was going on. I thought it was just us because it was just something you didn't talk about. So I empowered them so they, they could empower others. Well, I uh, I wish you well with uh, your new uh, uh, TV or video. Uh, it'll be, yeah. it's called, it's a long one. So everybody listen carefully. It's terrymatthewsonline.com slash on the spectrum. Terry Matthew online dot com slash on the spectrum and uh, Terry is on Terry is T E R R I uh, not Y so keep that in mind Terry uh, if we can help let us know when you launch we will uh, be glad to uh, we'll do a short little piece and and uh, bring you back uh, early Mark, next I year would, I would love that I think this show is going to be so. Um, we call it prescription TV. So it's our way of providing hope and healing through TV. And we're going to be talking about all the things that are important that happen in the world of autism. And we're going to be giving a voice to those that don't have one. And for the ones who already have one, we're going to make their voice stronger. So we're excited, and I I would love the opportunity to come back. We will do that. It's going to be fun. It will be. Uh, yeah, I look forward. Hold on a second, okay? Uh, okay. I'm Mark Allen, uh, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. We're going to take some time out and come back and talk about energy healing. How about that? Uh, don't go away. More coming up. <laughs> 